Some days you get to see the sun rise, the sun set. You do get some days where you're actually working above the clouds and you cannot see anything for miles. I'm Stephen Fisher, I'm 33 years old, I live in Dover. I'm a Level 7 service team leader for Dong Energy at London Array in Ramsgate. My day-to-day -day basis is working 20 kilometres offshore in the North Sea. Uh, working of an average about 100 metres above sea level. We're here at London Array, operation of the maintenance facility in Ramsgate Harbour, ready for a lovely 12 hour shift ahead of us. Let's go inside, we'll pick up some paperwork, the tools we need for the day, and of course the team we're going to work with. Go in. Paperwork is very important because it puts in the isolations for when we're working on certain parts of the turbine during the day. It makes it safe for everyone to work. Next step would be to come into the warehouse. The main thing that you want to get together would be uh, your, own, your own kit bag. Everything that goes in there would be your climbing harness that we have to wear for transferring between the vessel and to the turbine as well. If the sea temperature is below 10 degrees, we have to wear an immersion suit, which is not the nicest thing, but if you fall in, it will save your life. But the best thing you need to put in there, because you're a long way offshore, make sure you've got your lunch, because if you haven't got your lunch, you can't just nip to the shop and go and buy something. And then we have a nice little brisk walk down to the pontoons, where we'd load all our bags onto the boats. When we arrive onto a turbine, the boat will push onto the transition piece, which is the lower part of the turbine. We'll then step across onto the ladder of the transition piece, where there'll be a nice 15 metre climb, if it's high tide. If it's low tide, it's a little bit more. And then it's a nice climb up to the first part of the turbine. I like, I like extreme things, and you don't get much more extreme than climbing the ladder 20 odd kilometres out in the sea. When you get to the top of the turbine, that's the best part because you open up a hatch, you climb out and then you actually are 100 metres above the sea and you get to see the beautiful views. Basically, it's like servicing your car. You have to go onto the turbine, you have to take some filters off, put some fresh oil in certain places, you have to crawl underneath some very tight spaces or even climb inside one of the blades to change the grease inside. The best thing about the job are the views that you get working on top of one of these wind turbines. You can see on a clear day for 40 miles and all you can see around you is wind turbines and sea. On a really clear day you can see land in the distance and then, then you realise how far you are offshore. is unfortunately there are no toilet facilities on one of these wind turbines so if you do need to go to the toilet it means climbing all the way back down getting onto the boat and then having to do all that again climbing back up so it can be very tiring. I do enjoy downhill mountain biking. Living life on the edge sometimes like little things that keep the fitness up but also keep the blood pumping through the body. Family life for me, when, when I have got my time off, I do like to spend a lot of time with my, uh, my five-year-old son. Every time he sees one on the news, the first thing he says is, Dad, is that one of yours? Is that where you work? But unfortunately, nine times out of ten on the news, they're always the small ones. It's never the big ones that we work on. It's quite a big thing to work on this project, because London Array itself is now in the Guinness Book of Records for being the world's largest offshore wind farm. So it's quite, a, quite an achievement to say that you can work on somewhere that is the world's largest. And it's a great, it's a great feeling coming to work every day, knowing that you're going out there and you're part of the history books, really. I'd say it's the best career choice you'll ever make. Renewable energy is going to be a big thing in the future. 
If you can get in there now, you've got a job for life. What better opportunity than to get paid to climb up a turbine every day? Because this job's just amazing how the opportunity you have to come and work in a place like that, not everyone gets to do that sort of thing. Well, six o'clock in the evening. I hope you've really enjoyed a day in the life of me, Stephen Fisher, wind turbine technician here at London Array at Ramsgate Harbour. All that's left to do now is clock off and let's go home.